Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone fine. In last class, we learned uh, random variable, probability distribution, mean variance and standard deviation. So today we are going to solve problems from that. So first question for today's class from the, this concept is state which of the following are not probability distribution of a random variable. Which of the following are not probability distribution of a random variable? Give reason if your answer is uh, yes or no. Okay. Ha, first question. Probability distribution until always it will be in a uh, table format. Then perle. Our quota glue table format is written. New answer. Bare beka do table format le rubek. Okay. Ha. So only really, random experiment it is not given. Just one table is given. Only how to check whether this probability distribution is a probability distribution or not. See, here condition code then, put a note on the code, here condition code then, and probability of each random variable must be greater than or equal to 0, as well as sum of all the probabilities must be equal to 1. Here conditional, here one condition set of facilities, the given table or given distribution is not probability distribution. Now, what about this distribution? Whether this distribution is probability distribution. First, second row, no negative values are there okay there is no negative values as well as probability of each event should be less than 1 and pehle adu and pehle probability of each random variable must be less than 1 you know probability of some event cannot be more than 1 so it should be less than 1 ha huh? all the numbers are less than 1 and no negative numbers in the second row now as a last work add all the three numbers check whether this is equal to 1 if this sum is equal to 1, 100% this distribution is a probability distribution. Okay, let us check. Yeah, greater than or equal to 0 already explained. Huh? Probability of x 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, ish barate, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 and 1.0. Yeah, absolutely. So, all the three conditions satisfies. Everything is positive. Everything is less than 1 as well as sum is equal to 1. So, given this distribution is probability distribution. So, answer is yes, it is a probability distribution. They, are give, they ask to give reason. What is reason? Reason is this. That's it. Table code data in Bacon's table worried answer paper, answer paper early. Write these two reasons and write the conclusion that it is a probability distribution. Got it? Yes. Arthaita, one more question. Got it? Yeah, next. Heading same. You have to tell me whether the given probab uh, whether the given distribution is probability distribution or not. Ha done. Table no equal gota. Here we have one probability which is negative and you know probability of each element in the second row must be always greater than 0 and less than 1. Here in problem here probability of 3, probability of x equal to 3 is minus 0 0.1. This is definitely not allowed in any probability distribution. So this distribution is not probability distribution because you have an entry which is less than 1. The entry in the second row must be always greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Please remember it can uh, it Ha, it, if it is equal to equal to 1 then also problem because other element should be 0 other element must be 0 to say its uh, distribution is probability distribution but here very reason could be kandila probability of one random variable is negative so it is not probability distribution i hope you understood yeah next one check whether this distribution is probability distribution or not First check whether all the entries are positive. Yeah, definitely all the entries are positive, not an issue. Now again check the second row whether all the entries is less than 1. Yes, all the entries of the second row that is 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 are less than 1, greater than 0, L no satisfy agate. So what is the remaining thing? We have to check whether sum is equal to 1. If the sum is not equal to 1, it is not a probability distribution. If the sum is equal to 1, definitely this will be a probability distribution. See, here also one problem is there, right? Now, first row, but even in the first row, the minus is not allowed. Remember that because first row is always number of something, count. It cannot be negative. Please remember that. So, the reason could be can the last check here properly. Uh, sum it should be equal to 1 add number add money 0 0.6 0 0.1 0 0.2 is 0 0.7 0 0.9 so it is not equal to 1 the sum of the all the elements in second row is not equal to 1 then no doubt this this distribution is not probability distribution reason is the sum is less than 1 it is not equal to 1 if it must be equal to 1 always since the sum is not equal to 1 this distribution is not probability distribution Arthaita, ha, next. Yeah, this things definitely will help you to understand exactly what I mean by probability distribution. Al is Zadak Beko, so please correct this P of Zadak Beko, okay? Ha. ha, tell me whether this is uh, a probability distribution or not. 
what is your answer check first usually we were, we are checking the second row second row le no problem illa antadre then we will check the first row okay so second row le another problem idya this is not a problem no all are like greater than 0 as well as less than 1 now one one thing you have to check you know whether the sum is equal to 1 or not suppose the sum is equal to 1 then not an issue uh, but because of this it is not a binary uh, proper distribution uh, whether okay what is the sum 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.5 i to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 0 0.9 i to 0 0.1 i to 1.05 ha this sum is more than 1 it must be always equal to 1 this must be always equal to 1 it since it is more than 1 again this distribution is not a probability distribution because the sum is more than 1 please remember that sum should be equal to 1 each entry should be positive each entry should be less than 1 Artaita? Very good. Next. Two cards are drawn successively with the replacement from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of the number of aces. Aces and good delvaha. So two cards are drawn successfully from the replacement from the with the replacement from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. With the replacement. Okay. Not without replacement. And the Sala card select model. We are going to put it back in the pack of 52 cards. Remember that. Huh? So, what is X here? The number of aces, selected cards of number of aces. Number of aces will be X. Now, table baribeka as I told because in, when they give the question in a probability distribution, they will give you in the table form. So, when you write the answer for the probability distribution, it must be in the table form. So, X, what are the different outcomes for X? No aces, 0. Alba, no aces, 0. 1 is Yellow card will one ace agir bodo. Atwa yellow selected cards may be aces. So, so the possible outcomes for number of aces zero is one ace and two aces. So zero one two. Now what is the probability of getting uh, no eggs on selected two cards? Can you tell me? Ha huh, right. One forty four. One forty four. Really, that actually two cards selected. Okay, out of fifty two cards. Out of fifty two cards, four cards are ace. Okay, so selected two cards, not ace means 4C, you know, 4C, 0, okay. See, you can calculate like this, for, for, okay, 40, 48 by 52, right. See, uh, first card is not ace, first card is 4C, 0, okay. You can solve this problem without using the combination also and it can be solved like this. First card is not ace, and right? uh, 48 outcomes are there out of 52 uh, they are not aces so 48 out of 42 48 out of 52 and then 48 by 52 second card is also not a see with the replacement and the one card select we are not keeping it outside we are going to keep it inside the pack again so again 48 day card here so 52 so simplify money 130 230 by 270 and 144 by 169 now what is p of 1 i am not going to fill this calculation part is for you one calculation and the next two to calculations your work but i'll show you how to get it p of 1 so p of 1 hey, one card is ace one card is not ace one selected out of two cards one is ace one is not ace so first one selected card is ace 4 by 52 alba 4 by 52 into Selected card is not ace. First card is, second card is not ace. And then 48 by 52. Plus, first card is not ace. Second card is ace. Are the option there? leave first card is, second card is not ace. First card is not ace. Second card is ace. So, either option is there. So, then really 4 by 52, 48 by 52, 48 by 52, 4 by 52. So, this is nothing. A 2 times 4 by 52 into 48 by 52. 100 percent you can simplify. You will simplify and fill this box as a homework book. So, what is the two cards are ace? This is simple. Here are selected cards are ace. Andre, huh, tell me first card is ace, second card is also ace. 4 by 48. 4 by oh sorry 4 by 52 into 4 by 52 right? 4 into 4 by 2 into 52 simplify this fill the third box even this work is also a homework problem Arthaita simplification it's left to you you have to complete Arthaita what do you mean by writing the probability distribution of some random experiment it must be in the table form so on the blank it should be in a table rows and columns compulsory please remember that so this you can calculate separately and can fill it got it yeah next a box container contains five red, two black balls, two balls are randomly drawn. Let the X a box container contains five red, two black balls, two balls are randomly drawn. Let X represent number of black balls. What are the possible values of X? 
and is x is a random variable okay is x is a random variable let x denote the number of okay let x denote the number of black balls so the selected how many balls are two balls are selected right so both balls can be a black ball so two out of that one is black another one is red then it's one and both balls are not black then it is zero so the possible values of x are zero one two and all these set is all three values satisfies the conditions of random variable so given x is a random variable and these are the values of the random variable x zero one two they here observe carefully they didn't ask find the probability distribution or waste of time see read the question carefully here definitely they didn't ask write the probability distribution so no need to write just write the elements of x as well as conclude whether it is a random variable or not yes it is a random variable what is the reason all the outcomes are positive or greater than or equal to zero and countable all the elements you can count okay so definitely the given x is a random variable of this random experiment i hope you understood the probability distribution better very very okay next let x represent the difference between the number of heads and number of uh, tails obtained when a coin is tossed six times. What are the possible values of x? Again, they ask only the random variable, not probability distribution. But here, better to write one table and from that you can okay, easily write the values of x. So, table is as follows. Uh, write the outcomes of the both die. Die, Alva? Yes, die, sorry, coin, coin source, right? Number of heads, huh? coins, okay, not die. So, H, T and outcome X. Okay, that we will write later. So, number of heads 0, 1, 2, 3. See, let X represent the difference between the number of heads and number of tails obtained when a coin is tossed 6 times. Huh. For that reason, we need 6 boxes. 2 times on each bacon, just this only this much. 6 times is tossed. So, 0 head, 1 head, 2 head, 3 head, 4 head, 5 head, and all the okay times 6 head only. So, similarly, reverse. Ali 0 head, definitely all the outcomes are T, 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 and 6 tail. 1 head, other remaining outcomes are tail. If it is 2 head, remaining outcomes are tail, that is 4. Here, 3, 2, 1, and even all the uh, outcome is head only then uh, okay number of tail will be zero i hope you understood why uh, it comes like this because the coin is tossed how many times six times it is tossed six times so the outcomes are like this now what is random variable here obtained when the coin is tossed six times number of uh, difference between the number of heads and number of tails difference between the number of heads and number of tails so there are difference okay you're going to write the difference of this so difference between zero and six is six only alba difference between five and one don't write negative difference they ask absolute the subtraction absolute the absolute value of the subtraction maybe one minus four or five minus one so not an issue okay so five minus one four four minus two two three minus three zero two four minus two again two minus four on the brother minus baritere random variable minus is not allowed okay if two four minus two it is two and five minus one four six minus zero six so these are the possible difference between the number of heads and number of tails when coin is tossed six times okay and coin is tossed six times now how to write the values of x how to write x in terms of set see x is nothing but huh, it should be between the two flower bracket please remember so many numbers but you should be between the two flower bracket so one is zero 2 is 4 is 6 I know that are, okay, this 2 times 2 is repeated 2 times 0 is repeated once 6 is repeated twice so don't write 2 2 times only once you have to write because you are writing okay set so 0 2 4 as well as 6 so that's it the, this is a random variable of this random experiment 2 0 2 4 6 a step I hope you understood so you know this is not a probability distribution we didn't write anywhere probabilities of anything so this is not a probability distribution table this okay if you why why we write okay why we wrote table because okay in table form you can write the difference easily so confusion other rows and a row and a bari bodo once you write this row this is very easy to complete so i hope you understood what i mean by random variable of a random experiment then yeah next Find the probability distribution of number of doublets in three throws of a pair of dice x where number of okay random x, random variable is given in the question so only how to write okay here you have to write the random variable as well as probability distribution so directly you can uh, write one table and its elements okay so table is required 
three times it is rocket toss so number of uh, doublets and right, one one two two three three four four five five six six that we are going to count it okay yeah first x represent number of doublets that you should mention if it is mentioned in a question not an issue but if it is not mentioned in a question you have to write what is the x represent so zero doublets and there is one one barla ella one two two one antad bandirodo one doublets two doublets okay and all the three times alva okay three doublets now zero to see a probability distribution of number of doublets in three throws of of a pair of dice three tosses of a pair of dice so how many times you will get no doublets and uh, three times or two pair and three times toss made it away so if you count not doublets no doublets at all and 125 you just check this okay six into six into six six cube order plate one 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 two one one three one one four like that doublet and one 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 is also doublet then pele one one two okay it's also come under the doublet so there are 120 outcomes they are not out okay doublet so and our total number you know six cube that is 216 so i hope this you can manage he count madi 120 count and ill torsli kagar it will take lot of time one by one if i started to tell you what are the outcomes just remember that uh, there's no doublets one one two not allowed one one three not allowed 1, 2, 3, allowed. 1, uh, 1, 3, 4, allowed. 1, 4, 5, allowed. 1, 4, 5, 6, allowed. So, in one array, you will get 5. So, like that, you count 1 by 1, okay? Uh, or remember this answer if you find difficult to count it. So, 120 outcomes are there. They are, they are free from doublets. So, out of 216. So, probability of that is 125 by 216. So, 1 doublet, 1, 1. So, atara so and so 75 day. So, 75 by 216. Two doublets. So, 15 by 216 and one doublet. That is all the okay. Uh, one outcome, one possible outcome is there for the all the three okay doublets. So, one by 216. So, you can feel like this just by counting. Eleno calculation illa formula begandila. Keep the outcomes in a sample space in your mind. Definitely, you can count this. Suppose artha we will okay discuss in WhatsApp number or not now because it will take a lot of time to discuss. Or if you want, tell me, I will write all the outcomes and I will send it to you WhatsApp number. Okay, so remember that outcomes are 125 by 216, 75 by 216, 15 by 216, 1 by 216, and count to here. You can check whether your answer is right or wrong. Suppose your work is wrong when you add all this number, you will not get one. 125, 300, uh, 300 to uh, sorry, 200, 215, 216, 216 by 216. Right, done. It's one. So this work is proper. Are they the number and add money? One barrel and other, you know, mistake again. Definitely you have to check again. If it, if you get one, no doubt this is perfect. I hope you understood. Okay. So next question. So next question in random variable and probability distribution is as follows. If x denote the number of hours you devote studying during a randomly selected college day, the probability that x, x can take takes values has the following form where k is some unknown constant. That unknown constant you have to find out. See the problem is it's not over. They uh, they given probability distribution. Uh, okay, like this, not in the table form. 0 0.1 when x is equal to 0, x when x is equal to 1 or 2, x k into 5 minus x when x equal to 3 or 4 and 0 otherwise okay so 0 is 0 0.1 1 or 2 is x uh, it should be okay x uh, 3 and 4 is k into 5 minus x otherwise it will be 0 and you have to find out find the values of k uh, what is the probability that you study at least 2 hours exactly 2 hours and at most 2 hours so there will be 4 different uh, question and you can solve as follows see this so first write that in a table format like this Okay, so this will be this is already given in the question. Remember, it's okay. You didn't write it's given in the question. Remember, no nothing is there to calculate here first. Yeah, so write in a table form when 0 it is 0 0.1, 1 is k, 2 is 2k, 3 is 2k, and 4 is k. Otherwise, 5, 6, 7, so on, it will be 0. So, what is the first question? Find the value of k. How to get the value of k? You know that sum of all its probability will be equal to 1, right? So, 0 0.1 k, 2k, 2k plus k equal to 1. So, when you simplify this, you will get k is equal to 0 0.15. So, use the condition that sum of all its probability will be is equal to 1 to find the value of k got it so k will be 0 0.15 k will be 0 0.15 so for answer to first question is like this next probability of at least 
at least means what the minimum minimum this okay yeah at least is p of x is equal to x is at least 2 probability of at least 2 is probability of k x is greater than or equal to 2 starting from 2 it can take any other value so probability of x is greater than or equal to 2 implies probability of x is equal to 2 x equal to 3 x equal to 4 otherwise so all this will come from here to infinite okay so 2k plus 2k plus k plus 0 okay so probability x at least 2 means greater than or equal to 2 so k value go to the alpha if it is 6k 6k k value substitute money okay it is uh, 2k uh, last one this is not 2k here this is just k this k will be there so 2k plus 2k plus k and f 5k so k in 5 into 0 0.15 which is nothing but 0 0.75 so this is a solution of the first two cases at least is over now at the time finding the value of k at least 2 means minimum 2 2 3 4 5 so on i hope you understood uh, next x is equal to exactly 2 x equal to 2 and then 2k k in 2 into 0 0.15 that is 0 0.3 next at most 2 what do you mean by x at most 2 maximum 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 okay so 0 0.1 0 0.15 and 0 2 into 0 0.15 k uh, 2k uh, uh, first 0 0.1 it is given there's no okay there's no k here 0 0.1 k and 2k so when you simplify you get 0 0.55 so i hope you understood uh, finding the value of k at least 2 ex exactly equal to 2 at most 2 at least 2 and greater than or equal to 2 exactly 2 when x is equal to 2 at most 2 and maximum 2 so i hope you understood use the table and get the values so i'm moving to the next question so next question is as follows let a pair of dice be thrown and random variable x be the sum of numbers that appear on the two dice x represent sum of numbers okay of the two numbers which appear on the two dice find the expectation of x okay find the expectation means mean of x okay here first you have to write the random variable uh, probability distribution before that random variable then probability distribution then you can find out the mean of this probability distribution so to write the probability distribution you have to write one table observe carefully x and p of x yeah let power of dice be thrown two dice are thrown at a time okay and x be the num sum of numbers sum of numbers 0 0 0 0 if showed uh, both die shows 1 1 0 is not there sorry 1 1 1 plus 1 is 2 like that okay 2 minimum number the minimum sum is 2 alpha 1 plus 1 next 1 plus 2 1 plus 3 1 plus 4 1 plus 5 1 plus 6 then 2 plus 6 3 plus 6 5 plus 5 6 plus 5 and 6 plus 6 so maximum possibility 12 the maximum sum possible is 12 the minimum sum possible is 2 so now this is a random variable 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 up to 12 you can reach not more than that okay so these are the sum uh, possible when two pair of dice is thrown at okay at a time now we have to find out its probability uh, how many pair will give you here the sum 2 only one no one and one no other pair will give you here two sum as a two so only one possibility uh, and total number of uh, outcome is six into six thirty six so it is one by thirty six so one outcome is favorable to sum is equal to two that is one comma one sum is equal to three one comma two and two comma one no other possibilities one comma two and two comma one so two possibilities are there sum is four two comma two three comma one one comma three Huh. And there are three possibilities that will be that. So three by thirty-six. So almost it will continue like that only five bar sum in one four two three three two four one right so four possibilities are there which okay gives sum is equal to five so it is four by thirty six and it, you can't continue this process definitely it, okay it will come up to six maximum then five four three two again okay so if you remember you can write very easily one two six five two one so then pelli then la count mark direct by at madud beda count madi you will come to us 8 you know 1 will borrow chance illa alva 2 only 2 6 6 2 uh, 3 only 3 5 5 3 4 only 4 4 5 okay done so it is 4 again so uh, 9 is 10 11 12 la ko check madi you will get in same pattern or remember 1 to 6 5 to 1 okay so this is what probability distribution now it is not just a probability distribution is asked they asked to find out the expectation what is the formula of expectation sum of this into this alva so expectation is e of x is summation x into p 
of x that is 2 into 1 by 36, 3 into 1 by 2 by 36, 4 into 3 by 36 and it will continue. So, when you simplify, okay, you will get like this. What is the LCM? 36. Alva. So, simplify my expectation here is 7. So, 7 will be the expectation of this random experiment or, or this is a 7 is a expectation of this probability distribution. So, are the numbers 2 into 1 by 36 and the 2 by 36, 6 by 36, 12 by 36, 20 by 36, 30 by 36, 40 by 36, okay and it will 40 by 36 again it is in reverse order 40, 36, 30, 22, 12. So, it is easy to add. Denominator you keep same thing 36 uh, because the LCM is easy to find out. Simplify expectation is 7. See expectation can be more than one. It is not a probability act. Sum of all, product of, sum of uh, random variable and the probability. So, it will be more than one. No, not compulsory, but it can be more than one. Remember that, don't get confused. Only probability cannot be more than one. So, Arthaida, so in the problem important, finding expectation. See, if you, uh, if continuation part of this, it is not asked here, you may get find the variance, then standard deviation. Okay, yeah. So, one more question, find the variance of the, I told you in the pre, uh, next previous question, you may get a question like find variance and standard deviation, here you will get, find the variance of the number of numbers obtained on a throw of an unbiased die, okay, the num the, find the variance of the number obtained on a throw of an unbiased die, unbiased it die is in a proper order, like it is not biased. Okay, so numbers, are, what are the numbers? 1, 2, 6, Alva. x will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what is the probability of getting 1? 1 by 6. Again, 1 by 6. All the probability will be 1 by 6. A single die at a time, once, once it is thrown. Okay, it's simple, a very, very simple random experiment. So, we have to find out the variance of this uh, probability distribution and very easy to write this probability distribution because the probability will be same for all. Alba, getting 1, when a die is throw, is 1 by 6. Probability of getting 1 is similarly 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, when very easy task to write the probability distribution. Now, what do you mean by variance? Variance is nothing but summation of x square minus, okay, summation of x, okay, or expectation, okay, one and same. So, expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square, okay. How to get expectation of this probability distribution? x into p of x, summation of x into p of x. So, find out that 1 by 6 plus 2 by 6 plus 3 by 6 plus 4 by 6 plus 5 by 6 and 6 by 6. So, this will be 30, uh, 11, uh, 15, 18, 20, Alva. So, 21, 21 by 6. So, it's 7 by to this expectation of this probability distribution. Now find out summation of x square, Some, uh, expectation of x square, e of x square and you know x square, x is this 1 to 6, 1 by 6, 2 square, 4 by 6, 3 square, 9 by 6, 16 by 6, 25 by 6, 36 by 6. So again this is simple, 6 is LCM, you will get answer 91 by 6. So what is the variance formula? Some e of x square minus e of x whole square. Variance formula is e of x square minus e of x whole square. Alba. Huh. So simplify, you will get answer is 35 by 12. Arthaita, simple, very simple task. Remember, finding expectation, variance as well as standard deviation. It is standard deviation killed. Let's suppose standard deviation killed in Martire. Huh. You are going to find out the square root of this number. Understood? So, in next coming problems, we are going to discuss those problems also where you are going to get the standard deviation and few more problems in probability distribution. Arthaita, so I hope you understood what I mean by random variable. Probability distribution, uh, expectation, variance and standard deviation. Understood? So, we will continue remaining part in next class. Thank you.